Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. Look, I made a leaf in my coffee. Latte artist. By luck. <laughs> How did I do that? Good morning everybody. I hope you're doing well. I've just been sat here editing and I uploaded the vlog and I realized it's already been it has already been one week. One week is over. I'm on vlogmas number eight today and it's going by so fast that's crazy. And then that made me realize, wow, I have so much to do in these next few days before I go home. Because I haven't got any of my family Christmas presents and stuff, so I started to plan out this week on what I want to do, what I want to shoot, what I need to, things I need to get, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. It's going to be a busy week. And today is actually quite, it's cooled down a bit in Hong Kong. I know like in the new territories, it's even more cooler, which is nice actually. I like it. I love being, I like the cold weather and getting all cozy and bundled in the winter. We just had lunch, vlog is done. So I think I'm going to get ready for the day now, do my makeup, get dressed, and I will see you guys after that. All right, I'm all dressed and ready to go now. And also, whilst I was editing, I noticed that the YouTube, the annual YouTube Rewind video is out. And I really look forward to this every year because it they do a really good job with it. And I like seeing a recap of all the, the top songs, trends, YouTubers, everything for the whole entire year. So I thought we could watch it together and I could talk about what I think about it and you guys could let me know what you guys think about it in the comments and we can have a little discussion. So what I predict is that YouTube, YouTube was an interesting year in 2017 because it was a mix of the, the top YouTubers staying on top that have been on YouTube for a long time, so the older YouTubers, mixed with the newer YouTubers rising to the top really quickly. So I, there was a big surge of a group of new YouTubers, especially Viners like Lele Pons, Logan Paul, Jake Paul. So I feel like they're definitely going to play a big part because they had a huge impact on YouTube. But as and and also like the big names stayed at the top too, like PewDiePie, Jenna Marbles, Zoella. So I think we're gonna see a mix of a lot of older faces that we know of and a lot of newer faces. Liza Koshi, I love her, of course. She had a big year. Superwoman always has a big year and is doing big things. I personally love H the H3 H3. Hila and Ethan, I hope I can see them. And then some of the trends, I think slime is definitely a huge one. Everyone turned everything into slime. Um, fidget spinners, for sure. Maybe Orbeez or filling bathtubs with different objects or like uh, liquids. That was a big trend too. I hope to see some of the beauty trends. Um, like the weird eyebrows or something like that. That would be fun. DNA testing was a big thing, I remember. A lot of people were seeing what their ancestry was. Uh, let's just watch it. Oh, the eclipse. That was a big event too. Back to YouTube Rewind. We've got two special Lele and Liza. Okay, Lele and Liza. Well Tell played. me about 2017. Oh, Despacito, of course. Oh, and my computer just decided to die. All right, that's it. I'm just getting a new. Everything's happening so fast. I don't know who's who. Oh, the marshmallow guy. Fish spinners. This song, of course. Salt Bay, that's awesome. That was a good, that was a big meme. The slime, there we go. That was huge. Ooh, this looks like it would be so fun to shoot. Was Jules on the face a big beauty trend? I don't remember that. I mean, Jenna Marbles did that. That should have been Jenna Marbles doing that. Where's Jenna Marbles? 
What's that about? What's that line up about brushing hair? I don't know what that is for. <laughs> That's cool. Could that be the DNA testing maybe? The going through the bloodstream? Maybe that signifies that. The eclipse of Casey! Oh, is this for Taylor Swift? This video is big. <laughs> is that Dodi and Hikaki from Japan? Ooh, this is cool. This is really well shot. The lighting, the colors, the movement, the music. Oh, there they are, Team 10. Oh, Logan. Their battles against each other were huge this year, so for sure. Oh yeah, the floor's lava, that was huge. Oh, here's the, is this the thousand degree knife? And they're eating the gummy, like the gummy versus real food. Oh, there's so many people, I can't keep up. Sorry guys, looks like you were interrupted there. <laughs> no Zoella and Elfie, no Jenna Marbles and Julian, no PewDiePie and Marzia. I don't know if I miss people, but where's PewDiePie's usually in it. Where's he? I really wonder why they didn't ask PewDiePie because I know he had a little bit of he had controversy this year, but so did a lot of other YouTubers that were in it. I know everyone can't be in it, but like Jenna Marbles too, I didn't see her. There's a lot of people missing. So yeah, a few of my favorite YouTubers are missing, but that's to be expected because not everyone can be involved, but a lot of them were involved before, so I'm kind of wondering why. I'm sure some of them weren't able to make it, and then I'm wondering why some of them weren't asked anymore. I guess we will never know the reasoning. There wasn't a lot of beauty trends included. I only saw one with the jewels all over the face. I didn't notice anything else, so I feel like the beauty guru community, which I'm now a part of, we need more representation. Are you ready to go? Yep, I'm finishing up. So that's what I thought of it. Um, let me know what you guys thought of it below in the comments. Did you like it? Who did you want to see more of? Who did you want to see at all? Um, yeah, let me know. I liked it. I did enjoy it. I enjoyed every year though. I like a little recap of the year. That was cool. Alright, he's ready to go. We have to go shopping today because we have about... I want to say 10 people's gifts to buy and it's down to the wire at this point or through the what no that's Kanye West's song and although I think you should only head to a mall on a Saturday in Hong Kong if you have a death wish because weekends everyone goes to a mall on the weekends in Hong Kong because there's not that many places to go here the island's so small and so it's basically every weekend it's like Black Friday, but minus the sales. So nobody's winning in this case. We have to go, we have to get Christmas gifts. So we're gonna do that. Hopefully we complete can complete all the shopping today because last year I was so much more prepared. I keep saying that, but I was. I think by the beginning of December, I didn't have that much to buy. So I'm a little bit- I've got my Christmas list here. I'm checking it twice. It drops like two degrees and I'm like, yay, I can wear toques and winter jackets, but not really. But actually, in Hong Kong, they blast the air conditioning in the malls. Does this look cool? Hmm. All right, pink jacket it is. Let's go. We actually came to Elements Mall instead because it's a little quieter here and they have everything we need, so... We are going to explore this mall instead. What did you buy, babe? Stuff. <laughs> We're supposed to be Christmas shopping. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. You're now in the Gucci gang. Gucci gang. Okay, we got one gift down. 
one and a half. We found one, but they have to ship it here. But we're finding it a little bit difficult because the sizing in Hong Kong is a lot smaller than in North America. So a lot of things, they just don't have big enough sizes. But um, we're eating right now at a Japanese restaurant. And then we are going to head to Times Square. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna head to Times Square, which is another shopping mall to go because there's a few stores there that we want to go to too. We're stuck in traffic. So my boyfriend's putting on a concert for everybody apparently. It's so hot. It's the next day now. I was just starting to edit this and I realized I didn't even end the video yesterday And that's what happens to your brain when you go Christmas shopping on a weekend. It is too much to handle I, I didn't even pull out my camera that much during the day because when we got to Pacific Place It was just madness like shoulder to shoulder with people by the time you find anything it's gonna take you like an hour and then you need to wait in an hour line to pay for it and then try and get yourself out oh and then parking before that too like oh it was just madness do yourself a favor don't go on a weekend if you can or i don't i don't know so by the time i got home i i uploaded the video which was pretty a little bit late and then I just took a bath and put myself to bed so yeah that's all for today I hope you enjoyed the vlog I am going to leave this video here and pick up from this place this room tomorrow and if you want to pick up something that something being merch uh, you can I will link it below in the description box go have a little look around the shop and see if you like anything and I will see you tomorrow